in association with Showtime Pay-Per-View and HBO Pay-Per-View. Sponsored by Tecate, Con Carácter, Mexico, Live It to Believe It, and the Weinstein Company, and the new movie Southpaw, starring Jake Gyllenhaal in theaters everywhere, July 24th. This contest is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Francisco V. Aguilar, Executive Director Bob Bennett. The World Boxing Organization Supervisor is its President, Francisco Paco Barcarcel, and the World Boxing Association Supervisor is Gilberto Jesus Mendoza. The WBC Supervisor is President Mauricio Suleiman. At ringside, the three judges scoring will be Bert Clements, Glenn Feldman, and Dave Moretti, and the man in charge of the action inside the ring, World Championship veteran referee Kenny Bayless. And now, the officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring, and they are ready. So for the thousands in attendance, and the millions watching, around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, hiding out of the red corner, with his trainer Freddie Roach and wearing yellow and red, official weight, 145 pounds. His fighting credentials of 57 victories, including 38 knockouts, along with 13 international and world championship titles in a record eight different weight division, guarantees his place in the Hall of Fame. He's recognized and known the world over as the people's champion from Sarangani province, the fighting pride of the Philippines, the reigning, defending, Pukon, WBO, of the world, Manny Pac-Man And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, really needing no introduction, the world over. Some of the finest boxing skills our sport has ever seen. Wearing black trunks with gold trim, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, he weighed in at a ready 146 pounds. A veteran of 24 world title bouts, he is undefeated in his 18-year campaign with a record of 47 wins, no losses, 26 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the pound for pound great and the pay per view king, boxing's future Hall of Famer, the sensational 11 time world champion in five weight divisions. Please welcome the reigning, the defending, and the undefeated WBC and WBA welterweight and super welterweight champion of the world, introducing the Floyd. Instructions, Kenny Bayless. Okay, gentlemen. Floyd Manning. This is a fight that the world has been waiting for. Both of you are world champions. We went over the rules in the dressing room. I want you to keep this fight clean at all times. Show good sportsmanship. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up. God bless. Yes, it really is a fight for the ages. The two premier boxers of their generation going head to head in the fight that so many said would never happen. Here it is. At last, it is happening. And an interesting late move in the betting market. A lot of money 
flooding in now on a Manny Pacquiao knockout. He's come in from fives now to nine to two. What do those gamblers know that Floyd Mayweather doesn't know? What's this fella got off his sleeve? What's Freddie Roach cooked up? We are about to find out. 16,000 people here in the arena. Millions watching around the world. And the biggest fight of the century is on. Up and running. The expectation is that Pacquiao is the one that will get off to the fast start and that needs to get off to a fast start. But that's what the experts have been saying. What's actually going to happen? Mayweather, normally so defensive, looking to land the counters. Will he go on the front foot? Well, the early signs say stay that Mayweather wants to claim the centre of the ring. Manny Pacquiao really has to come forward to be at his most effective. So if you can stop that match forward, then that's a huge plus. And that's what Mayweather's trying to do. He's trying to hold his ground. He wants to counter. He wants to draw mistakes. But he doesn't want to be backed up. Looking sharp already, Mayweather. I don't expect much of the rope I don't for, from Mayweather. I think he'll, he'll use movement, lateral movement, a lot. Because Pacquiao throws so many punches are beautiful stuff. And that is a shot that is going to send a warning to Manny Pacquiao early. That straight right hand and all the talk in Mayweather's camp is that he has been building for power. He looks well muscled. Roy Jones Jr. was one to say he thinks that some of the speed for Mayweather is slipping, in which case he's going to need that power. That's what they've been working on. And if they can draw Pacquiao onto one of those straight right hands, like the one that he fell into against Juan Manuel Marquez that time, it could be all over. Mayweather is measuring and using the range so well. He's just flitting on the edge of range, just trying to invite Pacquiao to lead. Pacquiao is trying to work things out. I don't think the southpaw stance will, will be a factor at all in this fight because Manny's not your KG awkward southpaw. He's an aggressive southpaw. But he cannot throw a six at the moment, he cannot get started. And part of that, of course, he knows he oh, cannot God. be reckless. You go back that to that. Low. Yeah, that Marquez fight, he was reckless. He went in looking for the big finish. That's one thing that Freddie Roach will have been preaching in the wild card. You make mistakes, you take risks against uh, Mayweather, you are going to pay, he will eat you alive. Nick Mayweather has not touched the ropes. Since this round started, he has not touched the ropes, and that's not like Floyd Mayweather. He wants this done in the centre of the ring, where he always has an escape route when it's needed, and he must stop the march forward of Pacquiao, and he's done it to good effect so far in the opener. And he's landed two solid right hands in there as well. Pacquiao, at the moment, can't find anything. Now he's in a corner, but again... Mayweather so quick just to tie things up. You hear what the crowd think about that? I think we'll see a lot of that, Nick. We'll see a lot of that. Terrific start to this one. Well, Manny Pacquiao went to his corner smiling. Mike Tyson is with us. Iron Mike, one of the people that thinks Manny Pacquiao is going to win this fight. He says he wins with punch volume and his high motor. We didn't see much of either in that opening session. I thought Mayweather was brilliant in the opening round. Nick did everything right. He was like a snake ready to pounce at all times. Stood right in front of Pacquiao. Did not allow him to get any momentum or any rhythm in his work. Posed some problems for him. Hit him with a couple of punches. Just showed him who he reckons the puncher is in this. So Manny Pacquiao is a big thing to do that. The smile is gone, Nick. Well, already, just one round in, it's Pacquiao that's the man that's got to make the adjustments. Mayweather, in the early going here, looks very, very in control. And Pacquiao almost that just was, lunged in on that one. That was beautiful. He's going to do it with foot movement. As I say, we won't see the rope a dope. He won't allow Pacquiao to, get, to start throwing barrages of punches. Here's the right hand. 
This is beautiful stuff from Mayweather. And again, he's just dancing away there. Terrific movement. It's Pacquiao that's one of the great movers in boxing. Big cheer went up there, but Mayweather slipped underneath that left hand. He's going to have to be careful of it. Points deductions if he keeps grabbing hold of Pacquiao. So a lot will depend just on how lenient the referee wants to be. Pacquiao getting him a bit closer to the ropes in this round than he was in the previous round, but not making it pay yet. Struggling to land anything clean at all in the early going here. Pacquiao. Mayweather is a little bit tense. So, I mean, this can burn up the, the, the energy. Pacquiao is relaxed. He's not really producing as yet, but he's relaxed. He's moving forward. He's not burning up nervous energy. I get the feeling that Mayweather is burning up a little bit of that. Now, the heads came together there on the gravel again. He's going to end up losing points. A lot will depend on how strict this referee Bayless is. Pacquiao looking to close him down. He's got Mayweather in the corner, but he's swinging wildly and he's not connecting. Again, big cheers for Pacquiao. Needs to retune the radar here. Well, he knows he has to do it with busts of punches and he has to pounce into action. He, he can't box his way close to Mayweather. He's just going to have to maybe lunge in at times, take some chances. I'll get solid right hand again if he does from Mayweather. Lunge, if he does lunge in, Jim. He could walk right onto one of those right hands and he knows it. But he's not going to box his way in gradually, that's not going to happen. He seems to be caught between two caps at the moment, Pacquiao. Oh, no, 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 very much. Mayweather is so good when he makes a mistake, not allowing the other guy to capitalise on it. You see the way he pushed the Pacquiao down there when he made a little slip. Pacquiao just can't get close enough to be effective. And, and Mayweather's tactics have taken Pacquiao out of his natural game already. He's looking solid, Mayweather, up to now. No, nothing clean there, nothing landing. There, nothing there at all. And at what point does Pacquiao get reckless, take a couple of chances? What happens when he does? Mayweather just toying with him at the moment. Again, Mayweather, the centre of the ring, not allowing the chance forward that Manny Pacquiao is famous for. Now, swinging and hoping there, Pacquiao. Well, Mayweather, the master defensive strategist, of course. We are seeing why. Mark Wahlberg. Not sure if he's happy or not. P. Diddy in the building as well. Those two, of course, have a little side bet going on this one. And if you're a betting man and you put some money on a Pacquiao knockout, you're probably not too thrilled with what you've seen in those first two rounds. No, Manny has never had so much trouble in any of his fights for getting punches home, even against Marquez. Marquez was prepared to exchange punches. This guy is in with today, is not. The great thing that Manny Pacquiao has got is speed. And we're just not seeing that being used effectively tonight so far. Mayweather has totally neutralised that. Mayweather is the master, of course, of taking what you've got and taking it away. But he usually warms his way into it. He's done it from the first bell. And remember what Mayweather did against Juan Manuel Marquez. Marquez sat just behind us, could barely land a glove on him. And then most people who fancy Pacquiao fancy him because he's going to have a fast start. And Mayweather will be playing catch up, well that certainly has not happened. Well, most people who fancy Mayweather think he's going to have to come from behind. Most people think, I'm sure Carl Brock sat next to us was thinking the same, that Pacquiao may well take the first two, three rounds as Mayweather works his way into it. At the moment, you can barely count a shot that Pacquiao has landed. See, Pacquiao is not being allowed to box the way he normally boxes, that was low. That was low, Packy made it, Manny made a little bit more of it maybe than was needed, but it certainly was low. See, every time there's a little shrug when Manny's about to do something, Floyd just gets himself out of there. Not, nothing landing there, not even been allowed. A little bit of holding again from me where he's going to have to be a little bit careful of that. Okay, 
looking to work his way in again. Missing again with the left hand and missing very, very badly. And again, Mayweather is just, he's diffusing a bomb here. See, you don't move away from a fighter who throws barrels of punches. You move up close and take away the effectiveness of it. It's messy, it's untidy. A third referee could maybe get the point there where there's some problems tonight, but he's getting away with what he's doing so far. Flicking the right hand out there. Now this, is, this is mastery from Mayweather, it really is. Just slipping inside that left hand once again. Pacquiao looking to try and up the tempo a little bit. See if he can knock Mayweather out of his rhythm, because Mayweather is just so comfortable in there at the moment. And then the big push down as well. I think the referee is going to have to have a word with me where that he's getting away with just a little bit too much. But he's making it work, and if the referee leaves you to it, carry on with it. But Pacquiao Nick, is the one struggling at the moment. Fainting, body movement. Mayweather just watching him. Mayweather goes for the big right hand and misses. Mayweather looking a bit more relaxed himself now. Well, I just think he's extraordinarily comfortable. I think this is so far has been easier for him than even he was expecting. Just so far out of range. He's just toying with Pacquiao at the moment. Pacquiao looks to just move in and close in on him, but. Mayweather got the first right hand and in that exchange Pacquiao goes back to his corner smiling looking around look at the reaction he gets Is this man bothered? Look. You're doing the right thing now you're hitting with the right hand Well Pacquiao got some much serious success at the end of that round But he was outboxed the greater part of it this is the low blow and it was actually glanced high actually come off the glove so it wasn't that serious a, a low blow to, to complain about but i think the referee's been pretty lenient with mayweather i wonder if that'll continue if it does pacquiao's going to have some big problems because he's spoiling at every turn every chance he gets he's spoiling well, let's bring Carl Brock in now. Carl, was this the start that you were expecting? Was this the script you saw? You know what, I've never sat ringside and watched Floyd Mayweather, and now I'm sitting and watching him, I am mesmerised, I'm amazed. He is unbelievable. So sharp, so accurate. I don't know what Manny Pacquiao can do to get near him, I really don't. He's been so comfortable so far. All that early pressure we were expecting from Pacquiao. The foot speed, those fast, sharp hands. The power that no, he carries no, no. in the okay. left hand, all of them completely up to now neutralised. I mean, that was, that was Mayweather, the counter punch against both of lead, those leads off first. So difficult to catch cleanly. I think that, that one caught in the forehead, quite a sort of left hand from Pacquiao. I think Mayweather felt that one. Now looking to work downstairs. Pacquiao there gets a bit of a warning. Well, he's starting to just up the volume of punches now in the hope that something's going to start getting through Pacquiao. And that's something else that the expert said he's going to do. Even if it's bouncing off gloves and elbows, throw punches, keep Mayweather engaged. Well, this is where Mayweather should not be, because the perception is that uh, Pacquiao is outworking him when he's back to the ropes, even if all the punches aren't landing cleanly. A little bit better this from Pacquiao. Mayweather needs to land some clean shots out the centre of the ring to take the initiative away and just to put the idea out of the judges' minds that Pacquiao was getting a foothold there. He's picking up those jabs. Pacquiao was blocking off and looking to counter left himself. And Mayweather felt that. Now it's Mayweather's turn to cover up. Well, a real moment of success for Pacquiao. Mayweather felt that. That's exactly what Manny Pacquiao needed. Just a, something to give him confidence. This is terrific from him. A shake of the head from Mayweather.
But he's not fooling anybody. Got caught with the right hand there as well, they were. Pacquiao turning things around a little bit now. Well, Manny Pacquiao has been in some real tough fights. He doesn't mind taking punches to land them. Mayweather has never been in that kind of fight. If it becomes that kind of fight, will Mayweather be able to stick with it? So much movement now coming from Mayweather as he's just trying to draw Pacquiao in. Got out of trouble effortlessly there. And every time Pacquiao throws, the place just erupts. A little decent shots to the body there. Pacquiao's round this gym, no question. No question. And he needed it. Now. He needed that. Both landed there, but Pacquiao the most solid shot. But that has got everybody. Excited, and I say everybody because it feels like it's an entirely pro Pacquiao house. Look at the effect that left hand had on Mayweather. Well, all he can do is cover up, and then this is the reason I reckon they would never do the rope a dope, he would keep in the center of the ring because even if these punches have been blocked, it's giving the initiative to Pacquiao. And the judges are looking at who's in the driving seat, and that was certainly Manny Pacquiao in that round. Beautiful left hand, just knocked him onto his heels. Up come the defences, but the perception was there that he was struggling. Good body shots from Pacquiao, exactly. That's what being a champion is all about. When you're struggling, produce your best work, and that was terrific work from him there. Here's the left hand. That's the left hand that Ricky had and Shane Mosley, who fought both these men. Both of them said Pacquiao is the harder puncher. Mosley was saying he was just so stunned he didn't know where it had come from. It was delivered with such speed, that left hand. And of course, we saw what it did to Ricky. Mayweather certainly felt one. That's where Mayweather must be. He must be in the center of the ring. He must meet Pacquiao as he comes forward. Pacquiao can force him back towards the ropes. That's where Pacquiao's got his man where he wants him. Fascinating tactical battle unfolding here. Between two men with over 40 world title fights between them. See, I think Mayweather knows Pacquiao has to be coming forward. And he's pushing him back. This is clever stuff again from Mayweather. Don't know if he can sustain it. Now these are just kind of fending off jabs from Mayweather, a little snap behind them. But he's keeping Pack out of here, terrific. A straight oh, line yep. Referee has to be on his case again there. Holding with the head and punching with the other hand. Well, he hasn't allowed Pack out to build on that success as yet. We're only halfway through the round, of course. Ah, that was clever. Yeah, it's these right-hand counters. Pacquiao's trying to box his way in, and that's when it doesn't work. It's when he puts himself on Mayweather that he got the success there. But he's shuffling forward, and that is not going to work. First two minutes have been Mayweather's. There's more of the spoil. This is where a referee really has to have a stern word, but he's not doing it, he's leading him to it. Not Kenny Bayless. Not having it. Happy with what Mayweather is doing. And once again, Mayweather naturally bigger with all those natural physical advantages, looking to make them count here. He's holding the charge off, you know, he's standing his ground, and that is so important. He's back onto the ropes now, time to show some lateral movement. That's it, just get yourself out of there. Clever stuff. Pacquiao hasn't been allowed to produce so far in this room within the last half minute. And he's been made to miss a lot as well. So if this continues, it's another round for Mayweather. There's no real fire in Pacquiao's performance at the moment. He's trying to pick his way forward, trying to box his normal fight, and that is not working against Mayweather. Again, out of range, 
Pacquiao and Mayweather just putting distance between them as he does so well. Mayweather's got the range just where he wants it. Manny Pacquiao's family watching at ringside. Jinky looking concerned. Pacquiao supporters must be concerned with what they've seen so far. And what can Freddie Roach do about this? Well, I think the tempo's was wrong for Pacquiao. Can we hear what he said? No, this is counter puncher tempo. This is shooting me well down to the ground. He's standing his ground in the centre of the ring, not allowing Pacquiao to back him up. He's got his tactics right. Pacquiao has to raise the tempo, has to show his, you know, the, the volume that he can throw, the, the way he normally throws. Well, we're looking at that. There was a bit of an exchange between Floyd Mayweather and Kenny Bayless, who was gesturing to Mayweather, keep your punches up, and Mayweather looking back at him, as if to say, have you gone mad? That was quite a little exchange those two just had. A short right hand from Mayweather again there. I mean, th this is so clever, the way he stands his ground there. So clever. The guard was we hard. Blocked. Yep, we were blocked. And he really unloaded there, but surely this is what Pacquiao's got to do, let the punches flow, even if they are bouncing off arms and gloves and elbows. Well, as I said, Nick, the tempo is wrong, the tempo suits Mayweather. Well, he's changing that tempo here, Pacquiao. And suddenly, Mayweather doesn't look as relaxed as he did in that last round, or indeed the first three, and he launched a right hand at this badly there, Mayweather. Let it go, let it go, let it go, there we go, keep it clean, keep it clean, keep it clean. Doesn't like pressure, Mayweather, never has done, no counter-puncher does. I think he's going to have to hurt Pacquiao, he's going to have to give him something to worry about. Power-wise, he hasn't done that yet. Talk about the pressure. Oh, look to land the right hand counter there, Mayweather. It was clever. Look Missing look again there, though. But this is that's why it. another legend, like I say, most fighters were look in the Mayweather camp, but Mike Tyson wasn't a Norse Roberto Duran. He said stylistically, it's a perfect fight for Pacquiao because Mayweather doesn't like pressure fighters. But this isn't pressure at the moment. No, that's Pacquiao. the problem, isn't it? it? He's got to get the pressure, he's got to sustain it. Yeah, but he's, but he's fighting a little bust. That was a better left hand over the top. And now Mayweather, trapped in a corner, gets the guard up. Mayweather takes some body shots, and Manny Pacquiao continues to let the punches go, and Mayweather says, not bothering me, not one little bit. A oh, good solid shot, caught him in the forehead, he felt that one. Good solid left hand from Pacquiao there. Looking to reach in with the right hand to the body. And this is better again from Pacquiao. That's the Pacquiao we expected to see. Launching his attacks, getting out, raiding. Yeah, this is where he has to, he has to fight in busts. But you know, five and six punches at a time. You know, you can't avoid five and six busts. Single punches, a waste of time against Mayweather. There's nothing in these punches that Mayweather's thrown at the moment. looking to just measure it, that intelligent aggression that Freddie Roach was talking about. Have a little right-hand counter there, Mayweather looking to just try and get that jab going. Keep Pacquiao at bay, we haven't seen much of the right hand from Mayweather in that round, a better one for Pacquiao. I've got Floyd 4-2 up at halfway. Those legs, so many people say he's slowing down. I'm telling you right now, it's going to take me five minutes. I think Mayweather must find something to discourage Pacquiao. He has to hit him hard. No, you know, I thought before this started that Mayweather was going to be the puncher. I'm changing my mind, the left hand of Pacquiao has troubled Mayweather each time it's landed.
And uh, this is what impresses the judges, putting your hands up, OK, you're blocking some of the shots, but when you don't come back with anything, the perception is that Pacquiao is in the driving seat. Floyd Senior not happy at all. He was giving Floyd a roasting there, and Floyd wasn't listening. Halfway, we go into part two. Jim, that's how you're seeing it? Yep. Yep, two points up. See, that's the trouble with Floyd. I don't think he would listen to anybody in the corner. This is what he must do. He must back Pacquiao up. He must get his respect. He must know that if he makes a mistake, he's going to be hurt.